Okay, this is Herba Javanica. It's actually um, quite an interesting little bush. Uh, it's got these flowers which are very sort of fluffy, flowers and seeds rather, which are very fluffy. And this is actually used to fill um, cushions and uh, camel bags and things like that. So, um, and it is also used for um, dabbing up blood from wounds. So um, that's just one of the uses of Herba Javanica. So this is Dipterygium glaucum. It's a small little bush with these long uh, green stems and very few or virtually no leaves and these little yellow flowers. Um, there is a plant called Crotaleria egyptiaca which resembles it and you might find them often together um, but there are some differences. But this is Dipterygium glaucum. So it's a good example of that. So this is tri Tribulus terrestris. Um, it's one of the creeping plants. It has these uh, spiny fruits, you can see there, uh, which can be quite irritating. They get caught in the hooves of animals and obviously on in the shoes of human beings and that's how they spread. Um, very important uh, as a weed, I guess, in this area. And then this grass here is Panicum turgidum, just one of the grass species. This plant, I believe, is Dicoma anomena. It's sort of late in the season, so the seeds have already formed and already most of them have been dispersed. Um, it has these white flower heads um, that look very similar to what you're looking at now, but a lot bigger and, and prettier. Um, and yeah, also a very common sort of plant that grows, low-growing shrub or, or herb or forb that grows in, in these parts. This is from the cucumber family, Cucurbitaceae. This is Citralis colosynthus. It has deeply divided lobed leaves and you can see the green fruit there. The more mature fruit becomes yellow. Um, it's used as a laxative and also to treat scorpion stings. So here we have two plants. Uh, the one with the sort of purplish flower I believe it's Tephrosia species, probably Tephrosia elongata. There are also indigo bushes which look very similar, um, with a similar compound leaves. And on the right hand side is the yellow flowers of Senna italica, um, a plant uh, which has these flat, flattened pods, kind of similar to the ones on the left here, as well of the Tephrosia. So there you have Calotropus procera. It's got quite pretty flowers. It's got very, very large sort of ovate or oval leaves uh, with the mucronate tip. In other words, the tip is kind of um, narrowing to a point. Um, it has a milky latex, which is a common sign of a very toxic plant, and it is very toxic. Um, the older plants of this, the older stems of um, older plants of these the species are actually um, useful for making fire by friction um, I've actually tried it before and it is possible to use the wood of this plant for friction fires so this uh, is a small tree it's actually Zizifus spina Christi, which uh, is one of the uh, jujube fruited plants they call them um, it has if you look carefully you'll see there's a hooked thorn, paired hooked thorn and a, and a straight thorn, that's one characteristic. Also the leaves have three veins from the base, it's a little windy yeah, so it's kind of hard to show you, but there are three veins, main veins from the base of the leaf, more characteristic. The leaves can be used in a kind of salad, um, a salad as a salad green, and the fruits are edible, they've got a sweet outer um, flesh, which is not too extensive but it's but it is edible and it's and it is tasty. Zizzy for spina Christi.